Welcome back to Discovered and Known. DTK is what I call it for short. My name is Vanessa and today guys, I'm gonna be showing you a design um, that I made for a onesie. Um, and this particular onesie, I'm gonna be giving to a friend um, whose baby shower is coming up very soon. But um, as you guys know, I am trying to build a w online website where I can sell uh, most of the things, if not all of the things that I make. And so today I'm gonna to be showing you one of those designs. Um, I'm going to be embroidering the design on my um, brother PE 800 and I also attempted this design before so I want to show you what it looks like uh, when I kind of messed it up there so this is the design and it got snagged in the middle of the process so um, it's not fully done but this is the gist of what it's going to look like okay so that's that and i already have everything set up on the machine but i have not been able to um, make these videos for you guys or even make embroider projects for a while it's been a few weeks because my and my needle my needle to the embroidery machine had broken and i'll show you guys what that looks like here when you are not able to thread your needle that machine is indicating that your machine is broken and then you can take a look and see for yourself that it has a bend in it um so that's pretty much what happened to my needle i was i left it on the table to show you guys i was kind of looking for it but i can't find it the outcome of what it looked like when i took it out of the machine it had a little bend at the end and um i also found out that this machine takes the 75 by 11 or 11 how do you how do you, this is how it look how it shows up so 75 over 11 that's what type of needle the brother pe 100 takes so i can only use two out of the pack but that's fine i went weeks without a needle the machine itself comes with two needles and i already went through those needles without replacing them and having backup so that's my bad but without further ado, let's get into the video so you can see pretty much how I make this design. Um, what I was saying was before I found out that the needle had broken, I had already set up my stabilizer and my threading. So that's all there. I'm going to be using black today on a zero to three month onesie white. And I get all my blinks from either ARB Blinks or AJ Blinks. Shout out to AJ Blinks and ARB Blinks. They saved my life because these are the um, onesies that I use to embroider all my designs on. So um, now that I have my needle back, my needles, and I'm ready to go, um, the next few videos I'm going to be showing you the type of onesie designs that I have made up for my collection of infant onesies from zero to 18 months and the type of designs that I'm going to be placing on the onesies to sell are going to be in the videos to come you guys so without further ado so we're going to go to the screen here which just flashes random things so once we touch it it'll tell us to stand clear of the embroidery unit we hit okay all right and then so now that the embroidery unit is in place we're going to um, go to the design that we want to start with so for this onesie we're going to do cool do with sunglasses so here um, I've already typed in cool do and um, I'm going to keep every letter the same color if not I will go here and change it and then if I want to see what this displays on, how will display on the shirt, I would go there. And if I needed to move anything around, I would, of course, rotate size, move anything around. But if not, I would come to an end here. So when it comes to um, the next step with embroidering Cool Dude on the onesie, we want to trace around our design, which is Cool Dude, and we want to trace around it on the shirt to make sure that we have our proper placement. So if you can see, there's a little dot here. I use a fabric pen to um, place my median dots. And so I have one here and I have one right under 
neath the needle um, that you probably can't see. I'm trying to zoom in. Probably can't see it, but if you can, great. Um, so that that's where I've done my tracing. Um, I wanted it to land right underneath or right over top of the median dot. And that indicates that my cool dude will be in the middle um, of the onesie. So um, being as though I started this project and then saw that my needle had broken, I had everything in place and I did, want, did not want to displace everything for this video. But in the upcoming videos for every other design to come, I will show you guys um, step by step how I place the onesie onto the stabilizer and then um, how I find my median. Also, how I even find the median with the tools given, like this tool that was given um, that came with the machine. I'll show you guys all of that in the designs to come. But this one, I kind of want to get out the way um, because it is specifically for someone. Um, so yes, let's get started. We have traced everything and we're ready to start Cool Dude. This is a one needle machine. So um, we're not changing any thread colors because we're only using one color, which is black. And we have everything threaded and ready to go. So let's get started. So going back to the screen, we have traced everything. Everything looks good. We're going to hit OK. And then we're going to click embroidery. So that's going to bring us to the screen where it tells us how long this is going to take. So cool is going to take three minutes and dude is going to take four. And then we want to come over and bring our presser foot down, which will indicate green. Now, when you are um, using smaller size onesies, I want to say you're going to have to make sure that when you're fitting the onesie around the frame, that you don't want to um, get it caught up. You don't want the onesie to get caught up in um, that area where you lower the presser foot, bring it up and down. That area that glides the the um, embroidery unit back and forth. You don't want any clothing around that area. So you have to be extra careful and um, you have to watch the smaller sized Actually, you have to watch pretty much all your projects on the PE 800 because it can get a little tricky. You saw what happened. You saw what happened to me. This is what happened to me. One false move. One look away. And this is where it snagged it on up. It snagged. So, all right, heading back to our green button here. Green means go. So we're going to just... Just make sure this is smooth all around and then we're gonna just pick up first it's going to outline the seat for cool and you see where i have to kind of hold it because it'll get out of control how it came out i had to use two hands to hold the onesie for the rest of the design but it is finished embroidering so we want to hit okay so here i have the sunglasses and if you if you notice it appears sideways so um 
Since it appears sideways, I have to disassemble the onesie from the uh, 5x7 frame and um, rotate it so that um, when it embroiders sideways, it'll still look the correct way on the shirt. So we're going to do that. So we're going to lift our presser foot. We'll take this off. And so you see, we have to gently, gently take this off. So we're going to gently remove this because I like to save my stabilizer. I really do. So there you go. I can use the stabilizer for this space in another design another time. But right now I need to put new new stabilizer on for the sunglasses. Okay, so for the stabilizer, how this works, you're gonna take the stabilizer and place it over the bottom part. Actually, wait, how I do it, I always try to fit these pieces inside of each other first. So that when I place the stabilizer over and inside, I know that I would not have a problem with this. So that's in, and then we take this out already as we fit it, and then place the stabilizer over to then fit hear that click it's already tightened but we can tighten it some more and we're going to hear that tightness of it as we all right there we go that's tight then we're going to take our 505 adhesive spray we're going to spray it onto frame here we go so I have to position this I have to position this in a way where the glasses the sunglasses um, is straight across cool dude aligned the correct way so let's get started so with this sunglass design it's all about my tracing it's really all about my tracing and my positioning because i'm freestyling this All right, so we got it on, we got it on. And then once we place it on the unit, I'm just going to trace around underneath and kind of get that straight trace to start sewing the sun, embroidering the sunglasses. So let me put this on. We're not changing the sizes. We're not moving anything. We're not changing any colors. So what we want to do is just hit edit in and we want to start our tracing. Okay, so I traced it all out and I feel like I marked it the right way where it'll look 
super even right underneath cool dude um i made it so that the tracing of the right corner is equal in distance to the letter and tracing at the bottom right corner and so we're going to go with that and so with that we're going to lower the presser foot so we can start here it go it goes green okay so here is the first outline of the sunglasses don't mind the little straightaways i will be cutting those in the end um, but i do have to hold this design with both hands um, i'll try to show you guys as much as possible so let's keep it going embroidering okay guys this is before this is my little snaggle tooth and so we're finishing bordering I'm gonna lift the presser foot take the unit off I want to see if it's even. No, no, it's even. Okay, we have that. We're not using this. I have no room for anything else. Okay. So, I'm going to be cutting the phrase away. But that's what it looks like on the inside. You guys, it is so cute. Look at that. It came out so cute. Look. Goody, goody. You guys, tell me what you think. So this is going to be one of many onesie designs that I will have for my DTK collection. Infants. This is going to be one of many designs. Let me know what you think. This is a zero. I know it's a three to six. Oh no. I thought it was a zero to three, but it's a three to six. But either way, it is going to be so cute on the little baby. And it's, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Okay. So, um, yes, this is the cool dude onesie design that I've created with my embroidery machine. So, I basically take the um, designs that already came with the machine and create them into my own. With this design, I spelled out cool dude and I took a pair of sunglasses that came with it and I put it together. As for many more designs to come, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, I hope you guys tune into my next design. I'm going to be doing another onesie on my embroidery machine. Um, and we'll talk more about the online store as well. But it is that time where I have to go get my kids from school. Thank you guys for tuning in. DTK all the way.